Anjali! Yes? Can you stop being bored for a second and help me? When was I being bored? I okay, listen. So, we all know I'm a DD and d newbie, as evidenced by every single moment of this entire campaign. Oh no, come on. But I'm looking to be less of a DD and d newbie. All right. So I went on to Misty Mountain Gaming, <gasps> and I ordered almost everything they had. Ooh! Can you help me decipher what all of this is? Yes, yes! I am absolutely the person for this job. As our resident dice goblin, I feel like I am uniquely qualified to tell you all about these things. <gasps> okay, so when, when you decided what you wanted to buy dice-wise, did you... You know, everybody's got kind of their own vibe about how they want to decide. Some people do vibe off the energy, some people vibe off the colors, some people make it like a character. What was your what was your strategy for buying all of it? I filled up my entire cart okay. until my whole computer shut off from overheating. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, we can take a look at these in intermission, and I will tell you what all of these cool things are, and it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Okay, they are mine now. Yes, are they? Okay. Okay. Um, Help. You guys, we'll see you in intermission. So, uh, these are mine. Enjoy this go. episode of This Quest. And you have to let go. Hello, and welcome to episode four of This Quest. Welcome, Persephone Valentine. Thanks for having me. <laughs> now, I've brought you in because our players have found themselves in a little bit of a pickle. Mm -hmm. So, there's this little boy from this country called Bretzelwald who's come here because he keeps having dreams about this mountain. Oh, 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 but that's where it gets spicy. He has a secret family he did not tell his parents about. Someone's up in some trouble. Yeah, yeah. But he feels like if he goes to this mountain, maybe that'll complete something inside of him, but there's other stuff going on. Okay, so so we've got this beautiful, uh, you know, area in Vihar called Lakban, mm -hmm. and it's a farming area. Um, and for the Harvest Festival to begin, the goddess has to come down from the mountain and officiate this wonderful celebration called Rangali, but she hasn't come down. That's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. The crop is rotting on the vine. Bad things have happened, and our group has decided graciously to help them because all the roads are converging. All right, there is this amazing Namir fellow who finds himself torn between wilderness and the company of people. You know how that is. Yeah, I yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, I too long to escape into the wilds all the time. Mm -hmm. And he led them on this airship to the jungle because it seems like the entire party's like paths are all converging to this mountain, Rock Dibba. Now, they hijacked the airship, which was supposed to go in a different direction. Like you do. Tore up a cottage trying to get it to land. Did manage to land it somewhat successfully and found themselves in a jungle with these two sisters. What they don't know is that one sister always resurrects the other one, and so the dispatching of them, they're still alive. Yeah, that would be a problem as well. Sounds like they're in trouble. They are. They found themselves trapped inside the Crooked Sun Fort, but the party is split, which is where Iman comes in. Mm. I have a very special mission for you, Iman. Oh. Now, as I understand it, Iman, you can talk to the dead, but can you help escort people from the land of the dead back to the land of the living? I'm sure I can arrange something. Well, that's what I'm gonna need you to do today. Is it? I'm gonna send someone your way. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna need you to bring them back to our table. Well, that sounds like something I could do for you. I look forward to it. I'll see you there. You will. It's a promise.
Anjali, you are alone. Pulled into the muck itself. But as you descend through this rotting undergrowth, as a druid, you become acutely aware of this fertile space you're in. Being pulled down into the vasculatory system of the woods, of the Morbani forest. Without this ecosystem, without these life-giving veins running throughout the woods, they would die. They take that which is discarded by our world and turn it into something to be used by the living. Give me a constitution save. Oh, shit. <laughs> we're going in, we're going fast, we're going hard, we're going in, people. That's my extreme daisy voice. Do you like that? <laughs> Apparently I sound like a 19-year-old football player when I'm in here. Okay, here we go. Oh, one constitution. You don't get advantage, you just said same throw. Constitution? Mm-hmm. 16. You begin to suffocate, but you are able to hold your breath. As you are drawn deeper down into the earth, the canopy of the forest fades from view and you are enveloped in darkness. You hear a voice. I can take you to them. Uh, to, to whom exactly? You're a creature of this realm. I, I don't understand. Do you mean take me back to my friends? Yes, please take me to my friends. No. To your parents. Insight check. Roll insight. I get to roll with my new shiny new dice. Yeah, shiny new <laughs> dice. Um, 21. You get the sense that this entity is telling the truth, that the cost won't be free. Who are you? Tuve. Do I know who Tuve is? History check. So many checks. Checkity check, check, check. I do not know who Tuve is. Mm. When you say this realm, uh, where do you mean exactly? The wild. We're in the wild. The fair wild. My parents are in... I don't understand. Imprisoned. Here. In the muck. Why? Well... For doing bad things, I suppose. How do I... Pause. Am I... Is breathing of concern right now? Like, am I suffocating as we speak? Great. Yes. Um, you feel vines pulling you ever downward, closing around your neck, closing around your mouth, pulling you down. They can't help you. They're not like you. I don't need them to help me. I want to help them. Why? Because I care about them. Do you think they care about you? No I... one cares about you, Sitara. That's not true. My auntie cares about me. And Rocky, does he? Priya cares about me. Hmm. And where are they now? You've taken me away from them. To where you belong. No. I don't belong here. If I belonged here, I would be able to breathe here. If you take me to my parents, will I be able to come back? One never knows 
beings such as yourself can go back and forth freely. But if you were to open a door, well, then I suppose we could all come through together. And I definitely get the sense that this is an evil being, yes? That, in, do I need to insight check for that, or can I just, I can tell. Give me another insight check. <laughs> no, I don't, I can't tell. A neutral. Ah! Uh, I don't know what to do. I want to see my parents, and I want to see my friends. Don't you think I want to see my daughters? Your daughters? What can you know of loss? Who are your daughters? Oh, you know, the ones you were battling with above. How can the child know the pain of a parent ripped away from his family. The same as a child can feel the pain of being ripped away from her parents. I, uh, am I, am I restrained? Am I, do I have, uh, freedom of my limbs? I, uh, I reached down and I grabbed my card. And I put my hands together and I say, please, I need you now. I need you now. Give me a constitution saving throw as the words are difficult to get out with the vines wrapping around your neck. 15. A partial success. You take three points of psychic damage. <laughs> and you become vaguely aware that you are feeling the sensation of choking, but not truly choking. You can still breathe if you convinced yourself to, and the words just barely come out. The hot, humid steaminess of the mulch gives way to the gentle steam of a kettle boiling over and you are whisked away. The steam parts like curtains, bringing you to that familiar place between dimensions, where dwells an entity that, let's be honest, is a very wonderful face to see compared to where you've been. Wordlessly, she pushes a cup of tea towards you. You look troubled. Well, I've had a hard time breathing for a few minutes, so... Mm. There's that. I do what I can. Who was that? Oh, that would be the Lord of Flies. Flies? Hmm. Decay. Hmm. Important. Unpleasant, but important. Why... Does he have my parents? I don't believe he is the one that has your parents. He is dwelling in the same place as them, though. I still don't understand why or how. I was told they died. I was, I was told they died in a horrible accident, and my whole life since then has been rocky. Everything has been because I couldn't because I couldn't figure out life without them. They were removed from the cycle of death and rebirth and sent to a sort of limbo, the Feywild, where dwell Rakshas, Jinn, Buddy, and deities that transgressed against someone powerful in a wrong way. What did they do? That I don't know. C can you help me bring them back? <sighs> the 
That is beyond my power. Can you help me speak to them? Do you know what this place is? I, I, uh, I assume it is your home. There are many, many different stories we were told as children as to what the home of ethereal spirits, gods, whatever you want to call yourselves, where you live. This place seems... It seems high above us. It is. I wasn't very different from you. I dwelt among you, giving my patronage to travelers who needed me, but I too suffered a great loss. What did you lose? Everything. And so I created a place where I would never feel loss or pain or joy again. I'm... I'm so sorry. Seeing you and your pain, I feel I made the right choice. Oh, but there's joy. There's so much joy to be had. If I could show you, oh, I wish I would take you with me and show you. But it all fades. Without one, how can you tell you're experiencing the other? Everything is just... Everything. I don't mean to make you... May I? You may. I don't mean to make you sad or to make you question your judgment. I just... I'm so grateful to you and you've been so kind to me. I want to give you that... that spark. It's the spark that I find when I'm performing. When I step into another life and I feel it fill through me, it takes away some of the sadness of my own. Do you trust me? I do. Then I will speak freely. What? In you, I see my same mistakes. I sought the safety of this place. And after everything was ripped from you, you sought the safety of Rocky. And much like me, you're trapped in a bubble, a prison of your own making, that's rather convinced you of your abilities and limitations. There's one difference. In my cage, I do feel pain and sorrow and loss and anger. I knew it was wrong, but there was something in my heart that gave up. And the only, the only creature that kept me going was my Chotu. <laughs> Knowing that he was there, full of love, just a beautiful being living in the world. Not a care except caring for me and being cared for by me. I don't have children, but I suppose that's as close as I'm going to come. And if I free you and you go back to the realm, how do you think you would spend your time differently? After seeing Bria, after seeing how truly loved you can be, without even knowing it. I think I would trust more in myself, which is terrifying. But being alone is different than being lonely. My heart weeps for those of you trapped in between. You, Namir, even your parents, even Tolve. My heart weeps for all of you. Well, I don't accept it. I don't accept that the in-between is always. I am going to find a way. 
If you let me go back, I will find a way. I will find a way to find my parents and bring them back. I will find a way to release beautiful Namir, who it feels like gave his life for us. I will find a way. Namir's sacrifice was great, but it was of his own volition. The extent of it, not even you know yet. You will see him again. This I can promise you. He is not far from you, even now. That is a small relief. No, that is a... That is a great relief between him and Priya. I think I know where my place is, and I haven't been living in it for some time. I think I know how to find it. Then I shall secure you a passage back. Thank you. Your card. There is one who worships me, who is loyal to me. She will guide you back safely. She speaks to the dead and knows how to navigate the decay. She will take you back when the time is right. Thank you. Thank you for being so honest with me. It's rare in this world, and in yours apparently as well. When one no longer experiences emotions like they used to, your word is all you have left, but you have much more than that, Siddhara. Thanks to you. And I'll be watching you closely. I promise to do right by you. And I promise I will take the journeys for you. I will send my envoy to safely escort you through the most dire lands. Is there anything I can do for you while I'm here? Your company has been a gift enough. Wait here. Welcome, players. As you can see in front of you, you've leveled up after your excursions on the airship yeah. and in Morbani Forest. And our set has leveled up as well. We've got these, um, I've got, well, I've got this yeah, amazing Valhalla. Valhalla screen from Dogmite. But if you would be so kind as to flip over your player pads, Don't you may have you a surprise dare. on the other side of it. Shut oh. up. I a have unique Tiffin, one, a unique one for each of oh you. Oh my gosh, look Was at this. this. tailored to Dude, my interests? Gorgeous. Yes. Wow. I love food. <laughs> yes, you've got wow. your Tiffin. Oh, you've you've got, got your <laughs> Ruppity and oh your my God. God. Oh my gosh. so well. Mud. Oh my. Oh. The fronts wow. of them um, are plexi, though, so you can write on them, you can keep notes on them, you can keep a running tally of your health on them, and you can store your dice and all types of things inside. This is beautiful, hey, thank you. Sir. It is beautiful, but what's not beautiful, no, is the place you now find yourself in. No. You feel imbued by the powers of the forest. In fact, in the defeating of this druid of, of filth, of, of maggotry, you did feel like you walked away emboldened by your endeavors, but still, tired from the excursion. Lord Duante takes one level of exhaustion as the rage and frenzy falls off of her and the reality of her situation begins to set in. You find yourselves in Crooked Sun Fort. Around you, you hear buzzing, skittering of insects and things moving about the ruined stones and crumbling ballast. And you can see your breath rise in a thin plume of smoke in front of you as the temperature gets unnaturally cold. It feels like your head is underwater. You feel presences around you. It looks as though the fort was vacated in a, in a sort of emergent fashion. In fact, you can still see a table with two cups of tea on it. The tea long since gone. 
where two guards may have stood near the entrance, their posts long since abandoned. The, t the crumbling archway behind you groans a little as the stones shift. You see one ray of light, and then as the stones settle, it disappears. Your two companions seal the way behind you. Lodonji's well, screaming and crying. Yeah. Because Sitara is her, like, closest family. She's, if Sitara goes to the bathroom, she's like, where are you? You know, right. so this mm -hmm. is unfathomable to her. Mm -hmm. I'll do, like, a couple attempts at, like, the wall to try to, like, kind of get back out from, like, that collapse behind us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the stones seem like they are like just so heavy and so set in place. Yeah, there it's almost like they've stacked perfectly behind yeah. you. You can you can see a small distance through, but nothing large enough for you to even get through or make your way through. Ashwatthama, um, maybe desperately tries to cast mm -hmm. a shield of faith mm -hmm. through the stone mm -hmm. onto maybe where Sitara could have been. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and can you read the description for Shield of Faith for me? Sure. A shimmering field appears and surrounds a creature of your choice within range, granting it plus two bonus for the AC for the duration. As you reach out to cast Shield of Faith, you feel as though Sithara is no longer there. What? Her presence gone. If Ladu Auntie were in her right self, if this was like anyone but Sithara, she mm -hmm. would rage and break open the fort mm -hmm. and and run mm -hmm. but she it's like that level of terror and pain when mm -hmm. you can't even like move anything you're so mm -hmm. sad um she will however can she do a history check yes okay okay 21. <gasps> yeah she <laughs> resorts to her mental prowess. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can study my way out of this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know this can't be the only entrance to this fort. Mm -hmm. A fort with only one entrance and one exit is a death trap. You know there's got to be other ways out. With the history check, you know that this fort has secret passages out in case of you know being laid siege to. Um, La Duante relays all of this. I hate secret passages. You should never keep secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie, I... I know this is terrible, that what happened... I, I just have a feeling... I, I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling that we will see Sitara again. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like this whole quest to go to the mountain is like my fault in a way. Uh, Ladionti takes your hands, her your head in her hands, almost forceful. <laughs> this is uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it is not your fault, okay? And it's like, hopefully simultaneously scary and comforting. Uh, and she gives you a kiss on your forehead. <gasps> Thank you. That's... Okay. As your voices echo through the halls, Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's probably nothing. It's okay. It's yeah. probably nothing. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's probably friends. <laughs> yeah. Halen well met. <laughs> you notice Auntie's voice kind of echo down the hall in front of you. Uh-huh. As it does, you see Dia's placed in strategic locations, small clay pots full of oil or butter and a small wick light up. As they do, they illuminate arched doorways to your left and right, and the hallway in front of you seems to get longer. Oof. As it gets longer, you see a small light almost like a moat of light come out of the gloom towards you. And it comes forward and then unfurls its wings. And you notice it has two heads, two stalks, and four wings, indeed, fluttering in time. 
Everyone give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> 24. Okay. Must be nice. Oh, I'll trade with you, because uh, I got a six. <laughs> cool. Five. Auntie, you see this strange powder kind of begin to fall off of this flying lucre moth's wings, and as it does, it kind of comes towards you, kind of like scratching your senses for just a moment, and then you feel compelled, both of you, to follow it. Well, <laughs> don't gotta tell me twice. <laughs> I would like to go there. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Oh, my tail's kind of pulling me. <laughs> And you begin to follow this moth deeper and deeper into the fort. Are we able to do any kind of checks in terms of trying to see? No. No? Okay, no. cool. Yeah, why would we? <laughs> As you are drawn deeper and deeper into this fort, you begin to see the ruins of giant, almost made out of baked earth, pounded into very careful shapes, warriors. At one point active, moving around, long since disabled. Some of them cracked and destroyed, beheaded. Others kind of just crumbling from age and overuse. You see their placid stone faces kind of come up out of the darkness as this moth continues to light them and draw you further and further and further into the fort. Uh, I think Ladu Auntie, she is trying to keep it together, but her main goal is like, find any source of light that looks like an exit, that looks like it could lead to wherever Sitara is trapped or whatever. So. Uh, would I do, is there any check I can do to see for like light or? Perception check. Okay. <gasps> 11. You look around for light and your human eyes, unadjusted to this and managing to break away from the moth, you become briefly separated from the party, not by much. In the darkness, your eyes have a hard time sort of discerning between shapes and and waking nightmares. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> also, I believe you are exhausted, so you would be rolling with disadvantage. So. Ooh, so should I roll again and see, or no? It's, you've already it's pretty failed, bad. So there's, yeah, it's pretty you, bad. You can only, anyway, go, you can only go lower. Yeah. You can only go lower. <laughs> um, but you, you think you see something. You think you see a shape moving, a woman's shape, not unlike Sitara's. She follows it, no question. You find yourself in a very dimly lit, one small light in the corner, shadows falling over the walls of a woman's bedroom. And in it, you see the ghostly visage of the woman from the river. Make a wisdom saving throw with disadvantage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of these is an eight. Mm -hmm. and then... Cool, let's go for the nat 20. 19, so eight. <laughs> eight, okay. Da, da, da. Sorry, I was trying to find my d12. <laughs> Why? Come on. <laughs> huh? D4. <laughs> what? Huh? You take seven psychic damage as the face gets larger and larger, engulfing you whole. You hear that wail from the river once more, the <laughs> And your mind for a moment breaks, and you think of Sithara being drowned in the river. And just as grief overtakes you, the woman's face in front of you disappears. And then you see a human face behind it. 
can our guests join us at the table? The ghost? <gasps> the ghost herself! <laughs> Oh my God! I think our ghost has rescued someone else from the muck with her. Is this correct, Iman? This would be total, yes. <gasps> oh no! Oh, no! What? What? <laughs> Do I have a story for you? Oh, wow! My. Please take your seats. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Where you this? tricked us. You tricked us. We tricked you. You see this face leading one familiar to yours. Sitara, your excursions in the beyond have left you somewhat weakened. Will you roll for me 2d8? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, please roll badly, guys. This is your time. This is your chance. Get it out of your system. Oh no! Uh, uh, eight and a two. You take 10 points of damage from the On excursion. Of, okay, yeah. But you've walked away with experience. Your brush with wherever you've no. been <laughs> has granted you the experience also requisite to hit level five, as well <gasps> as no. Oh. 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 No. What's on the back? Goodies. Oh. Reveal to us what's on the bottom. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow. This is gorgeous. Oh. It matches your outfit. Oh, it's yeah. very. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I planned that. I planned that. Mm. That's um, really nice. This is beautiful. Question. So wait, I I see both of them appear. Mm-hmm. Look. One being led by the other. She uh, completely um, does not realize you're there mm -hmm. in a way and hugs you to, to death almost. Kisses you, go, where have you been? It's this, this tirade <laughs> between yes. extreme anger and mm -hmm. love. Where have you been? Oh my God, thank God. <laughs> what happened? I, I, and, and I think um, Sitara is still just kind of dazed from the whole experience and everything that she's learned and going, going where she went and then where she went after that and everything is just, it's just, it's been so dizzying. I'm just staring kind of blankly at you while you talk. Oh my God, you need water. You need water and nuts. Do you want nuts, almonds? Where's Chotu? I thought he was with you. <gasps> Chotu? You don't hear an answer. No. Chotu? Where did you put him last? Shut up, Chotu! <gasps> okay, once. <laughs> Chotu! Chotu! And she, I just running, mm -hmm. trying to find him. Chotu! Chotu, come on, this isn't funny anymore! As your voice echoes through the halls of the fort, you hear a... <sighs> <sighs> Okay, but you come to come to me, please. Don't leave you me. You see two eyes staring at you from underneath a ruined bed, and then you see two more eyes. No. <laughs> I immediately say, "Yo," and he bursts into flames. Joe oh. too gets into his wildfire spirit. As the light illuminates the darkness, you see two large ears, hair pulled back into a bun. The light reflects off of what could only be spectacles, a tusk, a very long trunk, wearing white kurta pajama, and writing in a notebook, a very surprised elephant-headed individual who, looking up at you inquisitively, and then looking back at the small creature that has burst into flames, says, Oh, wow, I didn't know it did that! <laughs> Is Ganesh a teen girl? <laughs> <laughs> Chotu? Chotu, come here. You see Chotu instead, like, playing with her fingers and taking nuts from her hand. Who are you? Who are you? Sitara. Are you a ghost? No. Are you sure? Yes. There's ghosts here. I'm not one. That's good. <laughs> I'm Natasha. Natasha, everyone, this is Natasha. 
Who cares? Natasha, where are we? Well, we're in Crooked Sun Fort. Crooked Sun Fort? Yeah. And you live here? No, no one lives here. Okay. That's ridiculous. Why would someone live here? Iman, tell them. Isn't that so weird? That is like really weird. No one lives here anymore. This is a ruin. Only ghosts live Everyone here. Everyone here is dead. <laughs> dead. The rest of us come here to like study about history and artifacts and how the people of old Bihar lived. So I saw your friends scary. go by into the dark, though. They're heading to the dangerous part of the fort. That's the part where all the ghosties are. Cool. You guys are not ghosts? No. Do I look like a ghost to you? Are you saying I look pale? Uh, I'm, I... you could use a little sun. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie, be kind. Being very true. Auntie, be kind. She, she brought me here. She's a... Uh, kind of spiritual chaperone? <gasps> That's what she told me, too. She said she could talk to dead people. Does that mean you're dead? <gasps> what if you are and you don't know it? That's a thing. Hey. Pardon? Don't say that. I'm Insight dead. check on myself to see <laughs> if I'm dead. Roll for existential <laughs> crisis. Yes. Me every morning. No, but seriously, like, what yeah, am I rolling? But we coffee. Existential I guess crisis? yeah. Medicine? Natural 20. <gasps> oh! Plus four. 24. Yeah, you're pretty sure you're alive. Right. But well, there's only one way to be sure. <laughs> to try to kill me? I pull out a knife. Oh, yeah, let's not do that. I don't think that your uh, patron would appreciate it. Patron? Who's my patron? Can I do a history check on this person? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What are you trying to discern? I want to know what her uh, uh, backstory is. What my deal is. Yeah, what your <laughs> deal is. Is that history? Is that uh, uh, perception? If you're, if you're trying to mark it based off of their clothing, yeah. their appearance. Yeah, yeah their yeah. accent and stuff. History. Okay. Can I give her guidance? Because I really want to. I'm looking at her clothing and yeah. trying to figure her out, and too. While you do that, why don't you describe yourself for the party? So Iman is a very tall, thin, um, like tan woman with like long dark hair that's streaked with gold, wears gold and red robes with a lot of brocade on them. Um, everything on her looks pretty well kept and clean, um, but she does sort of look around like, she doesn't blink a lot. Mm. 22. 22. Wow. You would recognize the clothing to be like that of a vintage enthusiast, but nothing that's out of the ordinary. Okay. You would also know that this this clothing is like rather expensive. Hmm. So this is a rich person. Yeah. I know what I was told where I was. Do I see anything on Iman that would back that up? That this person is who they I was told they were? No. Oh, well. Well, I am here. If you'd put the knife away, I would much appreciate it. Oh, I still have that out. I just thought it would be funny. I have a squirrel on fire at my behest. That I'm is a very sure, impressive rodent. I'm pretty sure you don't want to be funny like that around me. Mm. Noted. OK, what happened? <laughs> I... The ground. It, it, underneath me, it, it swallowed me whole, and I don't know how to explain it. It was like I was speaking to the earth. There was there was a voice that I was hearing, a terrible, terrible voice, and they spoke to me of their daughters, Soha and Suryan. And I learned that because we had killed them, they wanted to take perhaps another sacrifice. Uh, t don't take you. Well, uh, I... Through the grace of some spirit, I was taken away. Although, 
and I'm, she's starting to remember, remember. While I was there, they said that they could take me to my parents. That Ami and Papa weren't dead. They are dead? No. They're not, I can feel it. Make an arcana check. Both of us? You. Ooh. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> there was somewhere that they had been banished to. And that this voice told me I was supposed to go too. No, no, no. You don't and I to... wanted to go. I wanted so badly to go, but I knew I had to come back to you. Yeah. And... Do not go somewhere scary, random. You see, your parents are dead. Auntie. What? I knew I had to come back to you because I'm all you have. Don't, that's not, don't come back auntie, just because. Auntie, but I, I, I love just, you, auntie. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, wow, this is so wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> it is very wholesome <laughs> and very sweet. See, uh, anyway, I, I spoke to some beautiful spirit who said that they would send me back with... Uh, Hello. Someone. I'm Iman. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here I am. Okay, well, I'm very glad you're safe. I, I don't know anything about your parents being alive. I know. Do you know? Have you seen her parents? How am I supposed to know her parents? I just met her. I don't know anything about you, man. Come on. I don't know anything about you either. <laughs> okay, okay. What the hell? Here's what I think. <laughs> we are headed. We've already met one spirit. Some do natural spirits who have been troubled, right? There's, there's been one in the river wailing for, for what seemed to be some kind of escape. Or not yet. <laughs> We've been dragged away. We've been dragged away. But you're speaking of Soha. <laughs> Con clock that. Uh, your other friends. Okay, back going back to that. Yeah. One of these spirits was already troubled. Was supposed to go to the mountain, right? Because there's there's some spirit in the forest who is causing everything to die. I I, I vaguely remember all of this. Oh, we have to find Ash. Where are they? And as you say this, <laughs> we cut to Ash and Murka, deep in the forest. Deep in the fort, I almost said forest, deep in the fort. The moth still kind of occasionally like doing this like gyrating motion wow. has oh. led you. She's so beautiful. Deep into the darkness. Let's deep go. Deep into the darkness. Here we go. Do either of you have dark vision? Uh, yeah, I do. No, I don't. Shut up. No. You don't? <clears throat> oh, so don't. you see in okay. black and white, and for you, all you see is the moth. And yeah. it's it's this like <laughs> scintillating powder falling Look off of it. Wow, it's so pretty. Ha 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 ha. Look at the go. Huh. And as you move deeper into the bowels of the fort, you begin to pass corpses. Oh. Skeletons, bodies. You have to step over them. Oh. Still thinking only. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm keeping up. This, <laughs> Don't worry. Of this moth. Excuse me, I'm trying to yeah. see the moth. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, you buy me dinner first. All right. <laughs> that then leads you into a beautiful library. There is this stone lattice work on the ceiling and a and a soft green light comes in, almost as from the forest floor, high, high above. And you see around you tomes, books, all sorts of, of scrolls and, and bits of knowledge, crumbling, ancient. And then the moth comes and rests on the desk, on a quill, sitting idly, at the table. Is like the spell broken a little bit from the moth? Like, mm -mm. no. You still are really into this moth. Really into the moth, okay. It's really pretty and it's really, it's got eyelashes and beautiful eyes that are like, mm. 
<laughs> I don't usually go for this kind of thing, Ash, but. <laughs> God damn it, Omar. You don't, lean in for a kiss. Don't, yeah. <laughs> don't, make, it, don't make it weird, Mirka. <laughs> Let's just be with them off. I'm gonna mentor, I'm not dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> we Papa. have to use the cool. Bacha. Bacha. Papa. Trailing in behind you. Papa. Bacha. Now, just for storytelling purposes, mm -hmm. did I reactivate Bacha or have I actively not yet? You have actively not. Bacha, how's it going? Papa. Oh, you old scamp. And I'll move in between you and uh, Butcha and just kind of scratch my head a little bit. I'm just like, my son, how's it going? As I'm um, detecting magic with my, uh, my eye patch. You see illusory magic at play. Oh, buddy. You guy? <laughs> you, my number one man. Papa. <laughs> yep. <laughs> top, top ten, <laughs> number one. <laughs> uh, and I'll start to back up a little bit towards Ash. That is not butcher. Blah, blah. That is not butcher. A tear list opens. Boom, boom, boom. Blah blah. <gasps> oh. Butcher would never drop you down. No. The list. No. Make a wisdom saving throw. Uh oh. oh God. God. What about him? <sighs> no, it's just him. It's okay, I've got this. I have a negative two. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't worry, you guys. <laughs> Great, and I rolled a three. No. Wow! That's dirty a dirty one. one. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Still in positive numbers. <laughs> wow, this has been great. <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. Butcha bursts into a million glowing cockroaches that all begin to swarm up your boots and then up your body and then up your head. Uh, question. Mm -hmm. My clothing is set to react with shield. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hit. Mm -hmm. Is the shield going up? Yes. Oh, they're real. Oh, God. <laughs> and so I'm now like pushing away, trying to pull these things off. Yeah, Do yeah. Give me a dexterity save. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Great, seven. You take, does a 19 hit? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, with my shield up, uh, let me double check. I don't think it does actually. Okay. Look how neat those notes are. So neat. Thank you. It hurts my uh, believe it or not, no, a 19 does not okay. hit. Okay. Snap. Nice. Thanks for the love of it. Does a 14 hit? No. 14. <laughs> You're not going to believe this? A 14 hit. <laughs> 14. 13. Oh, wait. That one didn't fall in the tray. Uh, that's 22. That hits. And then, okay. So one hit for. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Two piercing damage. Okay. You're able to rip almost frantically these bugs off of you. And as you do, and, and, and you, you take one on the hand, the giant pincer from this cockroach just kind of grabs you and bites into you. You grab it and throw it. And you notice as you throw it and it hits the floor, you see, you would know this because you're you, ectoplasm. Oh. Am I aware or am I still? You see this too. I see it all happen. Yeah, but the moth is also very interesting. Happy, oh my happy. god. <laughs> you, are still, you are still actively affected by the charm condition with this moth. Got it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab like a brick or a stone or something around here. Screw it, there's bones, right? Or have we yes, passed? Yes, in the okay. hall. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll grab a bone and using tinkering, I mm -hmm. am going to imbue that with like smelling salt uh, odor mm -hmm. and hold it right by your face. Uh, uh, Marker, get out. Stop. Stop Fine. it. Stop. You're disrupting the show. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, 
gosh, my child burst into a bunch of cockroaches. Oh. I need you here, I need you here. Come on, come on, come on. Uh. And the smell hits your nostrils and you come to yourself <gasps> in a musty old library. Oh. And as you do, the door to the study slams shut. You all hear this further up in the fort. You hear a loud slamming and then a... <gasps> Sounds like the ghosts are up to something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they do that sometimes. They're very mm -hmm. active today. Mm. Oh, Natasha, can you help us find dolphins? And then you see her pull out. You recognize this. A little crystallized encode thought spell. <gasps> no. Hi, Stop. everybody. Stop. It's me, Natasha. What is she doing? <laughs> today on Ghost Hunters, <laughs> we're in... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We're in Crooked Sun Fort. Now things are starting to get pretty crazy. But don't worry, kids. I've, I've got my handy dandy whip, and I've got my handy dandy lucky idol that my mom gave me. And you've mom also got your handy dandy Bollywood star. <gasps> Hello, kids. We're on a big mission together. We should all go and find our friends. Shall we go together? Yes, we shall. See you on the flip. <laughs> you collab in Ganesh? I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. It's, oh it's all the rage these days with the kids. It's too much. You're very happy that you don't know about it. Oh my and then God. what you do is you edit it and you release it in small bits because feature-length films are dead. <laughs> Deal with that later. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, we're walking. We're walking. Let's, let's discuss uh, the possibility. I think that you gave this woman some emotional distress. <laughs> oh. I'll come with you, Sitara, auntie. Thank you. The, oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. I've been through enough today. <laughs> oh, you look worse than you were when I found you. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll protect you. Ma I... What? <laughs> hey. Would you put I am nobody's grandma, okay? <laughs> but you look like one. True, Excuse no me. Uh, uh, <laughs> please. Please, we really need to find our friends. It'll be a very exciting adventure for your... Tiny talkie. Don't worry. She pulls out her whip. Dancing lights. And she does a little flourish. And using her whip, almost like it's a ribbon baton. Oh. You see three dancing lights form and begin to go down the hall. Do we, uh, how far, did it sound like it was really, really far away? Like, do we have a long way to no, go? No, no, no. You, you just have some distance to go. They were only, with their movement speed, they were only able to go like 120 feet Fantastic. in the time that you were chatting. <laughs> um, and, and As I'm... she goes down the hall, you notice she's using her whip to skip. Oh, oh my god. And this is what she looks like, so you're not oh, allowed to hate adorable. her. You're not allowed to hate her. Oh, she's adorable! Oh, no, I don't hate her she at all. looks she's... just like you. I... <laughs> but with big ears and a trunk. But sure, <laughs> just like <laughs> Oh, so cute. I can see the resemblance. <laughs> now, she, you mentioned something about secret passageways. Mm -hmm. Is that something this I can ask this girl about or that we feel would be you useful? You can try. Yeah, you could try. You know that forts like this would have ways to get out and get food, water, yeah. and potentially squirrel out the royal family in case of in case I of see. they were laid siege to. Yeah. See, Any good said, fort. She said, she said squirrel out. Do you get it? Because we squirrel yeah. out. Already as, funny. Actually, <laughs> speaking of, Sitara, yeah. as you see her skipping down the hall using her whip as a jump rope, you see Chotu sitting on her shoulder. Burning her shoulder? She's on fire. <laughs> 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 that can't be comfortable. <laughs> Why uh, is she not getting burnt? Uh, just in his head, I say, uh, Chotu, uh, what are you doing? No, 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 okay. Okay. It doesn't matter. Go follow, follow, follow. I'm going to start playing the dulcimer to the, the beat of her, like, skipping. <gasps> just like... Yes. I do music. Modern music, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you give her inspiration? I give her inspiration, oh, yeah. Yes. So Who's her, her? Yeah. yeah, Natasha's like, you know, the dulcimer to her skipping. You notice she is particularly inspired as her feet cross each other and she perfectly skips down the hall. The three she dancing lights very guiding agile. her way. She's, she's reminds me a lot of you. Okay, okay, let's, let's put that on a shelf for a little Hi. while, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> you follow her down the hall. In the study, the both of you see the door slam shut. Give me an acrobatics check. Oh, okay. Really? 
Great. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Samesies. Yeah? Yeah. We're just two dads in a dungeon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> books began flying off the shelves. Oh, I used to like books until this <laughs> moment. Both of you take six bludgeoning damage. Wow! Yeah. Nice. As you are absolutely buffeted in a flurry of scrolls, pages, tomes, arcane components, paperweights, just about everything that can fly off these shelves flies off of these shelves. And as it does, you notice it flies to the opposite shelf. Oh. They're Instead of onto the floor. They're reorganizing. But Morka, uh -huh. you notice a tome lies at your feet. Oh. Huh. I, I pick it up with my bruised hand. You see the schematics for the creation of clay automatons. Clay Hot. soldiers. Yes, fantastic. Ash, what, this is what great. Is, what is fantastic? This is what's great about books hitting me in the face. Uh, I'm gonna change the uh, tinkering odor, uh, like this, the smelling salts over to just like lighting it up with like a five foot um, light so there's a glowing bone. And I'll hold it sort of to the schematic. Like a human femur. Yeah, like, yeah. Very disturbing. Just, and like shake it a little bit like a glow stick and then just like hold it. <laughs> <laughs> femur light. <laughs> Look, it's, it's schematics for uh, automaton uh, uh, soldiers uh, made out of clay. That's great, okay. How does that help us right now? Oh, well, it might not help us right now in the immediate, but it's, it's interesting, don't you think? Super interesting. Okay, but can we figure out what's attacking us in this room? Uh, I would like to uh, do a, I wanna just do a perception check to see if I can find um, a way out, like any secret doors or anything. Yeah, Got go it. ahead. Oh, thank you, okay. And, it's a D4. and as you ask that question, give me a history check. Sure. Or Arcana. They're both plus zero. Roll physical dice. Okay. No, 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 you don't get to roll again! <laughs> no, you said it. The yep. DM said I could. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I got a six. <laughs> Never mind, a you're screwed either way. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling with... <laughs> this is going so badly. Uh, well, that's a D4, right? Mm -hmm. With guidance? Oh, yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> it's gonna help, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's see what it adds to this five. <laughs> it's a multiplier. Cool, that's a one, so six. You can see no way out. Okay. There was like a quill on the on the table, wasn't there? Mm hmm That the moth pointed to. Maybe that's something. I just, I, gr I pick up the quill. Your hand almost is, becomes stuck to it. What did you do? And no, no. you begin writing against your will, hard <gasps> into Ash, what are you the writing? surface of the desk itself. Ash, do you need a piece of paper? I, 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 I can get one of these books. I'm just scratching. You can it. use the plexiglass of these, <laughs> <little bits>. <laughs> <laughs> these <Done>. gorgeous. <laughs> so, what am I writing? I go over with the femur. Mm -hmm. Do either of you speak abyssal? We will. Mm. No. Speak common, elvish, and primordial. No. You cannot discern. Maybe there's a book, like a translation book in this place. Uh, I, I can, I can look. Uh, uh. Or, and I'm gonna grab uh, like pieces of paper, like mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pull them from books, and then I am going to, um, on the desk, can I look to see if there's any uh, writing utensil um, or chalk or anything like that? Give me an investigation check. Okay. Go back, go back. Come on, please. Please, eight uh, plus uh, 11. Your hand falls on as you're like nervously looking through these drawers, nervously trying to like look through the study. You can't find chalk that hasn't completely crumbled into dust since the ruin you're in is hundreds of years old. Right. You're not able to find an ink pot that's not completely dried out. But your hand lands on a journal. Oh, uh, I'll quickly flip through to see what's in the journal, what kind of journal it is before I start tearing pages out. <laughs> tearing pages out. Yeah, before I destroy it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you, you wanna know. 
as you flip through the pages, uh -huh. you read of Tolve, the keeper of this fort. Okay. Ash, one second. Yeah, sure. No, no problem. <laughs> it says, one of the guards tried to release the girls again against my will. These cretins don't understand that what I do, I do to protect them. If they were to leave the boundaries of my realm of Morbani Forest, they would be well within Rusak's grasp. I keep them here against their will, but here I keep them safe. And my own guard defies me? No matter. I will dismiss them. I have perfected my plans. My arcane formulations are perfect. I can create a new army made of the earth itself, bound to my very will. For what? is more reliable than flesh, if not the divinity of math. <laughs> I shall send these foul, these pathetic, fleshy creatures away, and instead find myself safely in the calm of the eternal truth of the arcane. What are you reading? <laughs> I'm starting to see the error of my philosophies. <laughs> You're pretty engrossed in yeah, that book. It was interesting. It was interesting. Uh, looks like uh, we might be dealing with uh, the. This might be have been the study of someone who was looking to build an army and uh, was trapping two girls for some reason. Okay, that's relatively creepy. Uh, can I, can I look for, is there like a tome or a book or something to help me translate what I've written? Yes, go ahead and give me an investigation. Meanwhile, in the hall, you see Natasha cautiously following these three dancing lights with her music accompaniment. Mm-hmm, not music. Stop at the door. I think they went in here. Oh, you sure? I don't remember this door being closed earlier, Iman. Do you remember it being closed? I don't remember a lot of things. Yeah, you're a little weird. Oh, Am I so weird or are you weird? Uh, do you have any... Am I weird? Do you yes. have... Oh, my. You see, when you talk to your friends on the... On the, you know... Uh, are we it? going to do this right now? <laughs> uh, no. Do you have any ability? Does anyone have any special... I just want to check if there's anything wrong with this door. Is there anything magical? Can you do any, like Arcana traps or, traps? or um, investigation? Like yeah, go ahead. So, uh, like which which one? I'd like to check. You, for you can roll as well. Tra I'd like to check for traps. Yes, go ahead and give me a investigation check. You can roll like Arcana or investigation. Oh. Whether uh, you know, it's just a matter of whether you're checking for something uh. physical or whether you're checking for something magical. No. I'll so, check for something physical. The mom's going to look at the door mm -hmm. and look at everyone else and then look at the door, hold up a palm, and cast Shatter. <laughs> mm. <gasps> the door shudders in the doorway for a moment. Everyone give me deck saves. Oh, Seriously. that's not good. Uh, I say, it says I get advantage on deck saves against effects that you can see. But you're exhausted. But I'm exhausted. So the advantage so I get and disadvantage cancel. cancel out, and you roll as normal. Natural 20. <gasps> wow, Plus nice. two, 22. Mm -hmm. Second one, right? Oh, that's a 17. All of you are able to duck just in time as the door, beautiful, ancient Viharian, <laughs> you know, engravings on it shatters into Ooh. a million splinters. That is how you open the door. Uh, Loduanti instinctively just tries to shield everyone from it. These are... Like we're in the car. Yeah, like you're all in the car, <laughs> like you're all her daughters or something. <laughs> be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful on uh, stepping on all the shards, mm -hmm. uh, putting herself in front. Be careful, Nani! Oh my 
know. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> she's going to rage whether she wants you or not. To know what that word means to know that that was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grandma. Um, grandma. Okay, do okay. we? Do we see? Do we? What do we see through the doorway? These two bundles. <laughs> Okay. I'm holding a book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to. Oh, these your friends. <laughs> these two them. dorks. <laughs> these are uh, these are my my nephews. Yeah, the young <gasps> nephews. Yeah. Uh, 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 we go in other uh, books. Uh, anything else going on except for these two doing what they're doing? Uh -oh. Nothing else moving. Well, you. Sitara, you're here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're, you're alive. Okay. okay, yes, yes, we can talk about that later. We have to get out of here. Okay, just avoid the books. Yeah, and someone help me stop writing. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I'll grab your arm to try to get you to stop. Ooh. <gasps> oh, no. That's no, unfortunate no. for you. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nat 20. Oh. Uh, with that's... my magical quill. So Good. you take. How much? You take 10 points of piercing damage as the quill goes through your hand. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. I didn't uh, mean. Uh, it's not me. I. Uh, uh, I. Dream. Oh no! Ladonji well, rushes over all... to to envelop you in a hug. Um, uh, I, I I look at the book. I can speak celestial. Do I have any? I know it's not the same as abyssal, but is there any relation, sort of, since there's, <laughs> there's yeah. two sides of the same coin? It's the letters like look familiar, but it's like the difference between Hindi and Punjabi. Oh, yeah. You can you can grab yeah. some letters, but the sentences as a whole, the words as a whole, don't make sense to you. Um. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on him. Is the quill still in his hand, or is it? Yeah, it just I pulled it hole. out. No, yeah. yeah, he probably like pulled okay, it out. Okay. And it's, okay, like, yeah. it's like super glued to Ash's hand. Okay, great. Okay. You're not supposed to touch stuff in here. What well, do you know about this a little, room? A little late for that. This is a domain of dread. You can't just go around touching stuff. What does domain of dread mean? Ooh. <laughs> oh, no, no, you open up a can of worms. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone give me a history check to see, or an arcana check. Um, Do Cure I Wounds is uh, No, you would know. Four. You're okay. a college of spirits Does bar. Does anyone you know. guidance before I roll? Yeah, guidance. Okay, okay. Yeah. guidance. Okay, perfect. I cast guidance what, what, myself. What are, we cast, what are we casting? I'm giving myself history. guidance. <laughs> history, to see if you've heard of it. I definitely have not. I keep saying history or investigation. Oh. We're, so we're going to say this one's definitely history. Okay, 19. Okay. 19. Was that with disadvantage? No, Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking me? Ash? What the hell? 14. Not 20. Oh. Oh. So 19. 19. <laughs> OK. Uh, uh, 7 plus 1, so 8. 8. And it's history, right? Uh, yes. Mm, it's 10. Pretty dumb over here. Yeah. Those of you with over a 12 would know that a and you would know this, if you would like to tell the party, that a domain of dread is an area that is soaked and steeped in the evil of a dread lord. This is a place where the lord holds power and distorts reality itself. It's a dangerous place to be, and oftentimes very difficult to escape. You can provide them with additional information as you see fit. Well, on top of everything that you already know, mm -hmm. it's like really bad to be in here. <laughs> Tell us more. Tell us everything you know. Can I intimidate her it's if she's not? No, I'm messing up, please. Huh? Please? You should say please. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll tell you anything. Can I intimidate her? I don't think Lady Wandi would say please. Uh, <laughs> I guess like intimidate versus your um um what's it called? Um, <laughs> uh, insight. Okay. Okay. To okay. see that my she's not have, about it. My parents have never said please. I know. I've, that's, yeah. Yeah. This is a story that thing. Is amazing. <laughs> you think I'm being annoying? <laughs> but Auntie would never say please. No, that's, that's true. true. Okay. And Auntie would never say please. please. Also, what's that role? I got a 16 for yeah. disadvantage. Pretty good. Okay. Oh, no, 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 because no, I have zero. Mm, what, I don't get? even need to say it. <laughs> oh. You win. Okay. <laughs> so she, she, she comes up to you and she goes, hey, tell us more about this room right now. And she has, like, venom in her throat, and she is motioning to pick up her shoe. Like, she's going to hit you. <laughs> oh, don't pick up the shoe. No, no, don't pick up the shoe. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, OK? <laughs> <laughs> just a little, let's just step back a little. Okay. So, this is some place that has been infected by the ruler of the fortress. 
Infected or affected? Tulve? Infected is probably more accurate. Okay. Tulve. Tulve. Did you say the name Tulve? Mm. Sorry, I don't know that Ladu Adu know that. I was just, that was yeah. Rika saying sorry, that. Sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Tulve. Tol Tulve. Tulve, that's who was speaking to me in the earth. That's not good. Uh, mm. That's also who wrote this journal that I was that's reading. That's also not good. Who also used the earth to build an army. Uh, yeah, that's uh, also a problem. Can I okay. investigate mm. to see if there are any um, books that might help us figure out how to get out of here? Before that, you wanted to... Ladu Auntie has felt very useless in a lot of areas of her life. What? She doesn't have the education her siblings had. Mm. She never got married. She doesn't have children of her own. She can cook, she can provide. She uh, didn't succeed in driving the ship on this mission. There's many areas she doesn't feel good in. She does feel good in being like, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so she looks around, mm -hmm. she hears this demon spirit, she's like, we're not hanging around here anymore. She looks around for a secret passageway to leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With your knowledge earlier that these areas or forts like this typically have secret passageways out, um, you think you would have an eye for this. You think you know what you're looking for. And it would dawn on you to check the perimeter, to get, you know, like to start circling the outside of the fort because that's where you're most likely to find a passageway out. The other thing that would occur to you is with that role earlier, knowing that such passages were often for either smuggling in and out rations, foods, things that people needed to survive in case of a siege and royal family members, that it would behoove you to check either the quarters of the people that were kind of in charge of this fort or the scullery, like the kitchen. If I see you doing this, can I actually help? You may help. Okay, I'm gonna shut down my suit and I'm gonna pull my amethyst out and Butcha is gonna like reassemble. Oh my God, incredible. And then uh, I'm gonna be like, all right, Butcha, I need you to um, Papa. help. Butcha, I need you to help Ladu Uh And I'm gonna- Hanji Papa. Heh. And I'm gonna give you the femur mm -hmm. and um, ask you to fly like with Ladu like over to Ladu Auntie. <sighs> Okay. And I pat, and I look around for that moth that was like imitating. It's like since or the disappeared. little bugs. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyway, what I just like just, I kind of like spit Natasha, at like the yeah. general direction. What is Natasha up to? You notice like she's like observing you all while on her, while on her stone. Oh. <laughs> oh no. So we're here in the heart of the Crooked Sun Fort with a bunch of elderly people, but I'm gonna help them get out of here oh. because I have a sacred saga from my grandma and it keeps me safe no matter what. Praise the divine beings. Um, yeah, I think, I think they don't know what a domain of dread is. One of them touched something. He's probably gonna die now. He has a pen stuck to his hand and he can't get it off. He probably won't be able to wipe his butt anymore. Okay, hey, Natasha, let's, all, let's all sign so, off and say bye-bye, bye-bye, everybody. Don't forget the part about how he cut down his hand to save his life. I'll come back later if things get spicy. Did so, I hear you say you're going to help us out? I can. Would you please, Yeah, I would like to be helped. Okay, but I want an interview. What's it like to have a pen stuck to you? Uh, it feels super weird. This guy's penmanship is like crazy, and Are my elbow hurts. Are you experiencing a desire to hurt yourself or other people? I mean, I've already stabbed my friend once. I don't want to do it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to what do it. What compelled you to touch a cursed item? I'm trying to find a way out of here. Did you know it was cursed? No. Why didn't you know it was cursed? Because I didn't check. Can you not sense divinity? <sighs> I mean, I guess I could Oh, that's so embarrassing for Thanks you. Thanks for that. Yes, auntie, I Shame. can definitely help you. I'm getting used to the auntie thing, I hate to say it. Wonderful, darling. What should we do to help you, help us? Get out of here? Yeah. Oh, um, um, well, we should probably help. Yes. Nanima. You can say La Du Auntie, it's okay. <laughs> I think she's being taken care of with them, but, but what about helping? Can, can I say, 
before we cut back to these guys, yeah. I did roll a, a 21 oh. for my investigation check that we yeah. learned. So I don't know if that helps yeah. me learn something. It does. You are able to find a tome that doesn't teach you abyssal, but does tell you something very valuable. You find a tome that speaks of the Feywilds and how those that are deemed unworthy of redemption are removed from the cycle of life and death and banished to the Feywild. And in this book, you also read, you might want to write this down. With the other hand. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> Lefty, okay, great. Of an ancient war that took place on Rock Dibba. Between, and this only, this tome only tells you what one side was, a group called the Magus Stratum, an order of deities whose goal it was to judge the wicked and determine whether or not humanity was worthy of redemption. They oftentimes determined who would be banished to the Feywild, including Rakshas's jinn, all types of matters of entities that they found to be chaotic or otherwise unworthy of rebirth. That's cool. Do you share <laughs> that? that information? Yes. And did uh, Omar share the information about what he found in the Tolve book? Or the yeah, I would have. Yeah, okay, cool. yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, as you ask, um, as, as you ask, do you ask Natasha to help? Uh, yeah. You're asking generations She's gonna use a third level spell slot. Oh. <laughs> this isn't gonna feel good, Ash, because it's, it's Natasha doing this. <laughs> you. <laughs> it's like when the intern takes your blood. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. She oh, man, I takes have a her we'll find a vein somewhere. She takes her trunk. She takes the sacred thread from her wrist onto her trunk. And then she goes, Shaitan be gone! And smacks you square in the middle of your forehead with her trunk. <laughs> no way! Casting remove curse. <gasps> um, you Amazing. feel electricity move, like just jet through your body, out through your limbs, mm. kind of like you butt chugged Sprite. Go up yeah. in there. And then you see like a small red spot begin to form where she smacked you unceremoniously on the head. Oh, she gave me a, ch a chandel. A bindi! <laughs> oh. <laughs> chandel. Do I get to release the... You do. Okay, cool. <gasps> oh. Oh. I can only do that uh. once. So now no one touch anything curse. Did you, did, now has he, has he shed it? Yeah, let me tell you everything that I read. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Blah. Wait, 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 the Feywild. Yes. What, does that mean something to you? That's what Dolve told me that my parents were, and I don't understand. They've been banished? He said that, yes, but they say that it's somewhere where horrible people who have done unforgivable things have gone, and my parents were not They were not horrible. horrible. No. No. Wait. What could they possibly have done? Maybe it's a misunderstanding. I mean, we don't always know everything our parents did. Hey. That's Look, true. Her parents, true. very, very good people. Very honorable parents. Yes. Uh, you uh, don't know them. You don't get to say that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Who are you again? Hello. Hi. I'm Iman. Iman. Imanita. Imanita. Uh-huh. Uh, nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Marka. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm surprised Ash. you're alive. Oh, uh, I, I'm surprised you're here. Uh, like, how, what are you doing in this location? Well, I study spirits and talk to the dead and all that. Oh, <laughs> okay. And I rescued your friend. She uh, was uh, some kind of spiritual companion that I was guided here with. Mm -hmm. So you saved her? Yup. Well, we're in your, uh, uh, uh... Debt. Debt, thank you. Mm, you had trouble with that word. Uh, I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can still feel it piercing through my hand. Uh, thank you very You're much. You're looking very hurt. I'm not saying anything to her because now I am I am in my mind putting, going through the motions of these gods have ju put judgment on my parents and how dare they put judgment on my parents. How dare they decide that they were ir ir irredeemable. With that information that Sitara has shared, because Laduanti did not know that about her parents, 
she is now going through this mindset of like, these people that judge other people and decide who is good and who is bad. And she is like, what is not an auntie, but a person who does the very same thing to her own family. And she's having a tiny existential crisis. <laughs> So no, 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 yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. I have a, there's like a, there's like a way we want to do these, okay? Because these are all like, they all have different vibes. They all have different energies. You just, you really want to take your time with each one of these. Okay, for example, mm -hmm. these uh, gorgeous babies are the legend of the paradise. And wait till you hear. That sounds like Christmas. Do you hear that? Little little Christmas jingling. It's like ASMR. So delicious. It's so so good. And they're gorgeous. And they have little animals from Norse mythology on them. So they're watching over you while you play. Then these guys are the ice dragon eye dice. Uh -huh. I really really like these. And they're a little scary too while you're rolling. It's like they're looking at you while you roll. Did you roll high enough? Did you not roll high enough? They've got a whole like personality to them. So and then these these are Ragnar's bone dice made of ethically sourced water buffalo bone. Oh so they are actual bone. And what's so cool about it is that as the natural oils from your skin transfer into the bone dice, they actually look, like the look becomes even more prominent and they become so much more beautiful. And I love them so much, my precious. Well, I'm I supposed to put them. my oils in there, not you. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I my, my oils are already kind of on here now, so. No, no, fine. You, you got your oils all over that so, one. So, what? let's see what other stuff you got. Yeah, I mean, the truck is waiting outside, but here's what's here. I noticed they had a Frisbee section on the website. Oh, uh, no, not exactly. Um, these are dice rolling trays, and they are very convenient because you can take them apart, ah. and then you can roll them up, and you can put them away anytime that you don't need to be using them. Where so is... this has been so much fun. I am. I, I thank you for trusting me to give you this information because I feel like it's a very important part of your education Absolutely. as a D and D player. And um, and good luck to you. I think it's going to be fun. May you may the may the great dice gods. Roll in your favor. Did she did she take all my stuff? We have to get out of here. We have to leave. Now. You know there are other ways to get to the Feywild other than being banished, right? Excuse me? There are other reasons. I mean, maybe, yeah, your parents did something bad, but the, 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 not the people, well, not a lot of people, but people can end up in different realms for other reasons. What reasons? Well, they walked through a portal, they pissed someone off, um, they, so they uh, looked gone under a, the wrong root in a tree. But, but, but why would they go there voluntarily if it's full of rakshasas and jinn? I did not say it was voluntary. No. Nope. You can just sort of end up there. Or but, fair realm. Do you have the ability to know why a particular group, if we were to give you a description of these people, to, do you have any history or knowledge of that kind of reason why someone would be put there? Do I? Give me a religion check. That is not good. <laughs> That's a 12. You think it's, it's the same thing as a chaotic good versus lawful good. Sometimes it's how laws are interpreted, not really how they're written. That might lead to somebody being banished to the Feywild. Maybe that didn't deserve it. Yeah, I mean, also, laws are, you know, open to interpretation. And if someone decides that, you know, they shouldn't follow this law and then they break it because it's stupid, they can end up there because they're being punished because the law is a law, but you know, it's not just, necessarily I good. I don't understand what the good people they possibly have done. There could have been, I, 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 can we figure this out? I just want yeah. to get out of here. Ladoon, yeah. can you look for a... Yes, so I'm going to do... An you amazing. have Butcha casting light mm -hmm. kind okay. of floating with you. Gorgeous. So this is an investigation. Hey. Auntie. Auntie, oh, Auntie. Gonna, I give him another mechanical <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I roll with advantage for his perception check, and you roll with advantage as well. Okay, okay. on investigation or perception. I just wanted to check in on uh, you Investigation. And your oh, you know, I'm good. I'm uh, okay, after, after, after stabbing one. you. <laughs> so I gave him a kill wounds. So first one was nat one. Oh, you did. Nat one. Okay. Eight. I thought that was another nat one. 
You also have disadvantage, so I guess. So I, oh, it was just yeah. the nat one. So auto. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 17. What's Butch's modifier? I think a 17 is still good enough. Story Rise, Ledu Auntie rolled poorly because she is having an existential crisis of if she is keeping Sitara and people in her life mm -hmm. trapped the way, like, Pulve, yeah. you know, feels, oh, I have to keep everyone here uh, uh, to keep them safe and, and all of that. So she's going like dog shit. Yeah, you're like <laughs> distracted. Yes. As these musings are kind of like falling on you. Mm -hmm. And you miss something that Butcha picks up on. Because I think regardless of modifier, unless it's crazy negative, a 17 should do it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, wisdom is zero, so it's going to be. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. As, like I said, as long as it's not like a negative four, it's yeah. good. You just need to beat a 15. You see Butcha stop as you're like kind of moving around and goes, assessing environment. Egress, and it like shines its little bone light towards a cellar. Egress. Oh, okay. So I, I will start walking towards that cellar. Yeah. Mm. I'll follow her, but I've got one eye on Iman. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> <laughs> All I did was be nice to you. I brought you back. No, you to your did. Friends. You did, but. Don't blame me for this stuff with your parents. I don't know anything about that. I'm not blaming you. Hmm? You've just been very. Um, withholding about yourself and about where you've come from. No one's asked me about me. We have, several times. Really? Yes. I don't remember that. Iman, mm -hmm. where are you from? Where am I from? <gasps> You're from Vihar. Yeah, I'm from Vihar. Well, well, yes, we, it, that's mm -hmm. a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Why are you here? Oh, that I told you. I'm here to study the spirits that are here. So is that how you speak to the person who? Yes, I talk to the spirits of the dead. But the one who told you to bring me home? Mm, some spirits are more demanding than others. But if that was Dolve, that's, that's kind of a problem. That's very bad. Well, no, it wasn't Dolve, it was... Okay. Have you ever heard the word Nurin? You have. Mm -hmm. Nurin, at one point, was patron saint of your household. <gasps> Yes, I have heard that name. Do you not remember her telling you to bring me here? I do, I just did not realize it was her. No one is the patron saint of my household. Huh. Mm. So that's all we needed to know, is that you're genuinely friendly. Yes, yeah, she's it. She is friendly, and it's time for you guys to go so we can continue our video. Mm. Not that I do much on camera, I'm mostly yeah. background. Yeah, it's time for you to go, bye. You found a way right, out, right, right, goodbye. Right, off we go. Um, Wait, are goodbye. we really just gonna leave them to go down to that cellar? They're fine. Are you sure? They're that's fine! What I thank you, uh, thank you, oh Chotu. God. And then uh, uh, I'm just going to say thank you, thank you for your help. Chotu, ja. And Jal. Chotu jumps yeah. over right. towards you. Okay. bit. off we go. Andy. So, uh, yeah, I go down this cellar with Bacha leading with the little bone. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to sniff, like, are we going to a scullery? Are we going to, where? where is this cellar? Yeah. Where is this leading? It's like past the scullery, deep okay. down into what looks to be like the system underneath, like a water system underneath the fort. Mm -hmm. You would know at a glance that at one point, you see like these now inert crystals that used to pump water through small channels around the perimeter of every room. And it was an ancient form of air conditioning. <gasps> this cooled water mm -hmm. would run through, this is actually real. Yeah, they did, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, how they yeah, cooled yeah, Indian so forts cool. back in the day. Yeah. These crystals would cool the water down, and then this propulsion system would push it through these channels, and you are now coming into what is the sort of septic system, but like I said, it was clean water underneath as you like begin to go down. You, and and you of course, probably staying close to Butcha, mm -hmm. like sort of are, are following this system when you hear uh, Butcha's voice come to you says, Papa, Papa, Papa. Yes, Butcha? Papa. Uh, I look to see where if Butcha's with La Duente. 
He stopped moving after Laddu Auntie, and as he turns, you notice the eyes have shifted to a sickly purple color. Butcha, what's wrong? I rush over to him. Papa. Butcha? I'm not a real boy. Uh... And I'll never be a real boy. Butcha, what are you talking about? And you only love things that do what you ask of them. What? That's not true at all. And if I was ever my own person, you wouldn't love me. Whoa, is anyone else hearing this? Is anyone Are else we? hearing this? Uh. Cool. <laughs> what, what do we see? You don't now? really love me. That's not true. Why would You're you say... not my dad. You're that's, my creator. That's absolutely not true, Butcha. That's not true in the slightest. M Murta, what, what, what's going on? Until... I'm going to be a child forever. Is this cellar, like, of your worst nightmares? <laughs> it's not like, what is happening down here? Pens that stab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my child um, wanting to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> Butcha, none of that's true. Why but... did you make me? I, I'm... I made you. I, I, I made you to, to have a child, sure. But uh, uh, I, I made you because I knew you were out there somewhere, and I, I wanted to just give you form. And what happens when you find a real child of your own? What then? Like these clay constructs, all lie discarded in a pile somewhere. That would never happen. <sighs> Because I love you. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> oh! Sorry, that was <laughs> involuntary. Well, you still have guidance. Yeah, yeah. How much is that again? Uh, 1d4. Great, so 1d4 plus a 1. Here we go. Oh! Great. That's going to be 3 plus yeah. 2, 5. You only love your own intellect. You think you're so clever. I thought I was clever too. You drive away those that would help you by creating dolls to take their place. You are going to die alone. My suit starts to like whir and gear up as I figure out what's happening. I'm not the one who's dead. Uh, you have laid a very interesting laboratory for us to go through. Mm. A prison of your own making. Uh, you trying to kill us is one thing, because you'll fail. You uh, using magic to stab me is another, because I do like this hand a lot. Uh, you speaking. With my child's voice, I will find your soul or whatever's left of it, and I'm going to electrocute it slowly. I am going to tear you thread from thread, and your screams are going to echo through a forest that cares not for your existence. Do you understand me, Tolvi? Roll intimidation with advantage. <laughs> Thank you. And guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that was, 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 yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a dirty 20. I rolled a five on the die. The purple light flits out of Butcha's eyes. And Butcha says, Papa. And I pull Butcha to me no. as quickly as possible. Papa. Butcha, anything you need to do, anything you want to do, you can. Papa. You can do anything you want. Glitch. I know. Mm. <laughs> Glitch hurt, know. Papa. I'm mm. so sorry. Glitch hurt, Papa. Oh, I'm okay. It's okay. A mean man out there is being an asshole. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Asshole. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant, I meant, I meant, I meant no. Yeah. 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 This is a new realm for me. Can we get out of here now? And I turn and I'm like crying, yeah. like tears streaming down. Are you okay? No, I'm not all right. Tolby's here somewhere. It spoke to me through Butcha. 
Mm, he's messing with our heads. I think yeah. it's better that we just get out of here, get out of whatever he can get to us. Can we keep going? Yes. And you continue to proceed through this water treatment plant. As you do, the air gets colder, as though the crystals, the mechanisms that harness this cooling power are inert. The crystals themselves still have a latent sort of frost coming off of them. You can see your breath, and to your dismay, you can see forms in the mist around you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Go ahead, keep going, it's fine. <laughs> they part to let you pass. And you reach a chamber deep below the fort. You come upon a door hanging half open. And in front of you, you see long, thin, wooden spikes. The bottom of a pit trap. You hear the sounds of the flooded forest above you. You realize you are at the bottom access, maybe at one point where they cleaned corpses out of what is most assuredly a pitfall trap a spike trap. You would know that if you can make it the 80 feet to the top, you would be in the open world again. Ash just immediately, you know, thinking that, you know, I'm part of Varanas, so I can climb pretty well. Right. So I just start checking the walls to see if there's any any sort of grip I could get, or my tail could grab something, so so I could get maybe to the top or get. Yeah. Up, so. Give me a sleight of hand check. Do you have any like climbing equipment? I have rope. I think just kind of the usual yeah. backpack stuff. And at the same time, I'll tell Chotu, Chotu, go oh. up, go up. Oh, no, no, go, go, go. I always bring, <laughs> I always bring uh, my pretzels with me. And, and they get, they are very useful in many different ways. Um, you know, I let them get stale. And so if I tie them to the end of the rope, I can kind of use it to grab them <laughs> up. It's one of the many uses of my pretzels. It's a very strong pretzel. It's very strong pretzels. You just have to know the different breeds of the pretzel. What an impressive place this pretzel vault is. I would love to take you there someday. Yes, I'd love to go. So As this is my rules. You attempt to climb up. Natasha awkwardly kind of begins to like push you back into the into the fort and says, "Well, it's been fun, but I guess we should go now. Come on, mm. come on, Iman. Mm. Can I do an inside check? Because it seems like if she's kind of being awkward, I don't like it. Yeah. I, I don't trust yeah. it. Yeah, go ahead and roll insight. Guidance. <laughs> Guidance." Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Did you want to roll as well? Yes. Can mm -hmm. I roll? I'll roll insight first. Mm -hmm. 18. Oh, wait, do I roll disadvantage still? Um, yeah, you guys haven't had a short rest yet. Yeah. yeah. No, we haven't. Okay. Can I roll insight as well? Yes, you may. Three. Like <laughs> yeah. You want to nap in a pit? <gasps> oh. That's cute. You know she's nervous. Hmm. She, yeah. She's, 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 no, she's I don't trust huh? this business then I guess here. Why? You can't guess why, but you can tell she's getting agitated, nervous, and upset. Natasha, what is wrong? What I just wrong? don't think you should, you know, you shouldn't go out there, okay? What's out there? Well, no, it's just, it's it's not, it's it's okay, but you know, you should, you, in your condition, you shouldn't go. What is my condition? Because if you... Mm, if I... If you go out there, you'll disappear. What? Mm. What those track? Just a little bit. What do you mean? Oh, I'm very dead and you can't leave. And that's where you really are from. Mm hmm And as she like kind of 
settles in, she touches her elephant hand to you. Mm. And restores a piece of your modified memory. And you remember being a guard, a paladin in service of Soha and Surya. Oh! Mm. Beheaded for aiding in their escape. Mm. Well, that explains the choker. Anyway. Hmm. But you can't go, stop! Oh. And she starts to like push you back into the floor. What? What, what did you do with my memory? Why you was... What did you do, Natasha? You were sad! Of course I was sad, I'm dead! I was fixing it! I remember the dead part, but I didn't... It was almost like I was numb, you know? And her head starts going to a really oh. suspicious angle. <sighs> we should leave, she gets a little violent when she gets like this. I don't get the violent. You I get the... even. Oh boy. We, we've been together a long time, Natasha. You should know that. We've only been together a few days. That's longer than I've been around anyone in a long time, except for Tolve. Oh, OK. Do I? And there's two dead daughters. This was a heel turn I, the DM, was not expecting. Yes. <laughs> OK, I was going to say, I was like, uh, do we get the sense that she's going to hurt? I, I, I immediately walk over and stand in front of Natasha. Iman? What is it? You were did I not do enough for you when I saved you? You did a wonderful. Did and I? And Lurin would be so grateful to you. You know, somehow, that doesn't seem as important to me anymore. What is important to I'm gonna to activate you? words of terror. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. Okay, it's on. I'm gonna do it to Zatara. Okay. Um, it's a wisdom saving throw. PVP. Uh, Guidance. Help you. Natural 20, or not natural 20, dirty 20. Um, so you survive, you you succeed, but like Iman's eyes start to drip black and veins start to appear okay. under her skin as it goes pale for a moment. And there's like a flash where she seems like she's growing larger and larger and then it's gone. Natasha, darling, would you like to go on a trip with us? I would like to go on a trip with you! Um, <laughs> and so I pass her behind me to La Duante and I start to back up towards the pit. I, yeah, I want everybody- Don't you still want my help? You've done so much. I, I oh, can't I possibly ask enough, for, I can't I? possibly ask for more. Oh, hmm. but you could. You definitely could. Ash, have you found a way out? I'm checking, I'm checking. Have uh, I found a way out? What was your role? As you like get your pretzel, guidance, put it on this guidance, rope and guidance, guidance. send it up. I'm going to need it. 16. Your pretzel minus manages to find purchase yes. somewhere up above. Well, if you trust the strength of my country's pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <You're> so <laughs> Yeah, the tourism board would be proud. <laughs> yes. Then we can get out of here, I think. Go. Go. Titara, uh, you go. I'm going to let Ladu Auntie be in front of me, but I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a <laughs> but I'm gonna be the last because I know these two are squishy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be the last and back up. Uh, sorry, I'm backing up from you. Backing up from you. You have no respect for your elders. If On you're the contrary. Just going to go behind one. Do you? You she respects me plenty. You scared me earlier. And I think that that was very rude. Really, because I think you're very rude. How am I being rude? I've done nothing but help you. You have bleeding out of your eyes all over the place. <laughs> 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 it is bleeding. That's not anyone. Are these guys? Do you think it feels nice? No, okay. it's extremely distracting. It's going to get all over your clothes, and then someone's going to have to wash that. Probably me. I don't okay. think that my clothes have been washed in quite apart? a long time. I'm, 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 it's her, me, and you guys are going up the road. So you're I'm going to cast Crown of no, Madness. You're going, crown. You're, yeah, you're going. What is she doing? On who? On who? What did she cast? <gasps> crown of Madness. Okay, what do I do? I'm, uh, um, save. Okay. So it is a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Guidance. She's right in front of me. Okay. The DC is 14. It's a three. <laughs> Plus. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, six. 
So. <sighs> Tell her what it does. You are charmed by me, mm -hmm. and a twisted crown of jagged thorns weaves into your skull. Okay. And um, you have to use your action before moving on all your turns to make a melee attack against a creature <gasps> that I choose, other than yourself. Oh my god. You can make a wisdom saving throw at the end of every okay. Roll for initiative. A <sighs> oh, Dang it. 15. Did you say 15? 15. 15, yeah. Well, that's not good. Okay, well, but, actually, uh... it's great for y'all. But... <laughs> Wait, is that a six this is or a very nine? spicy. Very spicy. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen as well. So it's what's your dex? My dex is plus three. Uh, Sixteen plus three. Okay, so you go first then. This is so cool. I get to use my. <gasps> I, I get to use my new screen. Yeah. So that is a twenty-one. You see the color drain from Iman's face. For a moment, you see an image of her in her former form. A guard, dressed in beautiful Viharian garb with a chest plate of painted leather, beautiful ring mail underneath. But then this image fades and instead you see the, sink, the cheeks sink in. You see the light go from her eyes and you see all of the crystals that are down in this water treatment facility that leads to the exit flicker and things get dimmer for just a moment. Ash, you act first. Your grappling hook has gained purchase. The rope is hanging down in front of you. It's about 80 feet up. What do you do? Is my rope all the way? Yes. It's like all the way up. And then how, what's the circumference of this pit? It's about 15 feet. Perfect. That's a good number for me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cast Spirit Guardians. Ah. Uh, what do your Spirit Guardians look like? <laughs> so they're all a bunch of uncles and aunties yes. that I don't, <laughs> that honestly, like, I know I should recognize, and I probably should know who they are. Sick. <laughs> Sick. Love it. And they're constantly always so saying that, good. and I'm trying to call them uncle and auntie, and they're like, and they're like, uncle, who, who uncle? Yeah. Say my name, uncle. Yeah. And I'm like, why don't you say your name first? It's very frustrating. Mm. Um, and so, and I mostly can't understand what they're saying, except that I pretty much know that they're talking about that I've either eaten too much or not eaten enough. Mm. <laughs> so that's who they are. <laughs> These spirit me. guardians form around you. Um, I believe this is a concentration spell? It is, 10 minutes. And anything that enters your space takes damage, correct? Correct. All right, that is your action. Would you like to do anything with your bonus action? So first I have to label who I don't want it to affect, obviously my, my goodies, but mm -hmm. I do want it to affect La Duanti in her current state. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> and, and trust me, you can't. There's a reason I got behind her. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to get behind anyone until I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tank. I just want to understand if that As makes sense. As an affected creature, yeah. you were correct. Lerdu Auntie's um, speed would be halved in the area, and when she enters for the first time, she has to make a wisdom saving throw or take some radiant damage. Yeah. Yeah, and I want it's it centered around where we're gonna climb so that we're like yeah, safe yeah. kind of to climb. Perfect. Yeah, you create this sort of safe space for you to climb up. That's your action. Yeah. You can use your movement to climb half of your movement speed. And that's exactly what I wanna do. Okay. So you move up 10 feet. Okay. I can't believe you only have 20. <laughs> <laughs> you only have 20. But you climb up 10 feet. Yeah. Oh man. A lot of people have 30. <laughs> Let no has 40. Crazy. All right. <laughs> big legs. <laughs> <laughs> we love big legs. <laughs> I can't. This is so fun to do. Bye. Ooh. And now everyone can see what their turn is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Sitara. OK. Um, I'm, can I see on her current body, not the, not the imaginary one, uh, uh, is she wearing any any armor, shield, uh, uh, anklets, uh, uh, anything that seems to be she some kind of metal. Wearing a choker. Before this battle started, I actually forgot to give you this. Oh no. Oh no! She, she gets, gets one! That. 
You have plus one to your roles in your dreaded state since you're in your awakened state and you're in your dread domain until the timer runs out. I'm going to immediately just reach out, open up my fingers, and she starts to feel as her choker gets hotter and hotter <gasps> oh. and hotter as I cast heat metal. Oh. Cool. Um, that is... Uh, if the creature is... Okay, any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage, no save. And uh, if a creature is holding or wearing the object oh. and takes the damage from it, the creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw. That is its constitution? Yeah. And then add one because of your sand timer there. 18. Where do I look to find out where? There. Your save is 15. Damn, okay. Wait, you, you took off the roll joker? Your damage. Not oh, right, oh, right, okay. right, right, right. I have to roll my damage. Oh, I, I forgot I actually do damage. <laughs> Right. Yes. Dying. The, the damage Dying. happens regardless. There's an additional effect if that fail is saved. The, Correct. the save was made. So. Um, and when you cast but a spell the using a spell, will occur yeah. regardless. When you cast a spell using a spell slot of third level or higher, you get another d8. So. There you go. Okay. 14 damage. Mm -hmm. and would then, you like to use your bonus action or your movement? Uh, I would like to use my movement to get closer to the rope and closer to him. And I'm just going to stand down and I'm going to say, Auntie, hmm? Auntie, this is me. It's me, Sitara. Oh! Sitara. I know no Sitara. Oh, oh boy. Oh, no! Well done, well done. Auntie okay. isn't home right now. <laughs> um, I'm then going to tell Chotu, Chotu, climb. And uh, I'm going to have Chotu climb the wall instead mm -hmm. of climbing the rope since he's... I believe fly. Chotu can fly. He can glide, you said. He can't fly. No, I think when he's in his fire form, he can fly. <gasps> oh, fantastic. Well, and he was in his fire form mm -hmm. earlier, so... Great. So I'd like... No, he's still form. in his fire form, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he can fly. Um, what I'd like him to do then is to uh, fly 30 feet above, like hover, and cough up a hairball and throw a fiery hairball mm. at this one. Roll to hit. Natural 20. I also... Plus... Have to roll two concentration... Plus... Um, ...checks for my spell. Kind of yes. That's nine plus um, three is 12. 12 hit points. Go ahead and roll those two con saves for roll me. Two. And I roll with advantage because of Warcaster. Mm -hmm. But oh. I, made, I made 10 the first roll, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So second roll. Let's actually just roll both at the same time. Uh, yeah, uh, that's an 18 on the die. You make both of your con saves and you are able to maintain your crown of madness mm -hmm. on oh. La Duante. Look at my little puppet. Marka. Um, I am actually going to ready in action. Mm -hmm. um, so as you come to block me, I am going to <clears throat> um, send this little like tin disc out that's got mm -hmm. these like spinning crystals into um, like a, a stone wall right by you. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, a prepared shatter device, similar to how you blew the door in, uh -huh. this will do the same thing to you, but it's not going to activate unless you start heading towards us. Okay. So I'm going to look at you and go, I've read about you. I know mm. what you've done. Mm. I also have spoken to Tully myself, and I know how corruptive that voice can be. Please, listen to us. Work with us. We are looking to destroy him. Oh. We're on the same side. Persuasion? Um, yeah, this would be a persuasion versus, um, I think I'll say insight. Great. Nat 20. Oof. Well, Guidance? I got a 10. <laughs> oh my god, Omar! <laughs> you, you got us every time! Not phased. I'm sorry, did you say something? Were you trying to convince me of something? I, I, uh, because it seems like all that's coming out of your mouth is bullshit. <gasps> lots I, and lots of bullshit yeah, falling okay. from your lips. Yeah, all right, and I will move. Like I am behind Sitar. I'm like, yeah, I, no, I, I understand what you're saying, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, my action is ready. And you've readied an action very well. <laughs> Le <laughs> Duanti. Yes. So, obviously, I am not myself. You are not. So. Character-wise, do I have to 
I think I get do to do Safi's bidding, kind of, with my turn. I think I get to pick who you get to attack. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <gasps> so you have to use your action before moving to make a melee attack on a creature against a creature other than itself that you mentally, you mean me. Yeah. Um, so, attack Sitara. <gasps> Oh my god! Does that send her into the radius? I think it should, right? It does. Okay. Your okay. movement speed is halved, however, Sitara, it's still enough to reach Sitara. Okay. So you take, what's the? 3d8. 3d8. Is that on a failed save? Um. Well, yeah, ma- it you should have be to make, fine. So make a wisdom save. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she'll be fine. Wisdom save. Am I still at disadvantage? Uh, no. I'm gonna say no because you're now not I'm being controlled. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 18. Yeah, you're, that so makes you made it. it. So you only get half the damage, I believe, right? Um, yeah, I must make a wisdom saving throw on a failed save. Yeah. On a successful, yes. So it'd be so half he as actually, much. He would only get half of 18. Nine. Which nine. is nine. Okay, so nine I'll damage. Learn. I've never loved aunties and uncles more in my life. <laughs> and then go ahead and roll to hit. Sorry, I'm so sorry, auntie. I'll, I'll heal you later. <laughs> I am no auntie of yours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am. Do, do you, does Sefi get to pick what my attack is, or do I pick? Um, I believe I believe Sefi gets to Let pick. Let me see your character. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's And then I nice. also have the back yeah, attack. It has to be like a Becca melee has. attack, however. Okay, melee, okay, it has to be a melee yeah, attack. So melee these attack. are the, all of these are melee. Yeah. Okay. So, an auntie you've never recognized, this is not your auntie, sees a woman she's never recognized. She, in fact, sees you as someone who is hurting her niece. No! Thank you, auntie. <laughs> ah! Protect me. <laughs> and must protect that which is her niece at all costs. Mm. And with that rage in her heart, she rolls an 18 to hit. Hits. Oh, God. Damage is eight. Okay, so that's her first attack. Fuck me. And then with her second, that is a nat 20. Oh my gosh! Roll double damage die. Oh my gosh. With fury in her heart, she gives you 12 damage. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're okay. And I I realize at this point there's there's no fixing this until we take her down. So I'm not even gonna try to talk to Auntie. Uh, Can I? Can I speak during this time? Am I allowed to speak? On your turn. Okay. Am I, can I speak? Uh, since I've yes. just made that action. Yes. I take you down. I turn to you. Are you okay? <gasps> you know, I've never been better, Auntie. Okay. <sighs> because I heard your story. I know those guards. I know, I know Tulve was not kind to you. Mm-hmm. And that, that is not good. That is very not good. You should not have been kept and contained. I have learned now. You should not have been kept and contained in this world. We can always rely on you, auntie. Absolutely, absolutely. (laughs) Anyone who wanted to hurt you, to keep you contained, to keep you not being yourself, it's not right. And she kind of tries to persuade her of her own tragedy and and gives her sympathy and compassion. Yeah. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Oh, also, my gosh. Do you have make oh, a roll barbs. about, because you might be able to break from the attack. Yeah, you'll make yeah. a wisdom save at the end of your turn. Okay. Mm-hmm. <gasps> so persuasion, 11. Oh, I'm to roll inside? I, I don't think that's high enough. <sighs> yeah. OK, so wisdom save again. Yeah. Come on, Hoagie. Can I guide her? No, I'm not for 13. Unfortunately not. Damn it, Auntie. No, yeah, I wasn't I allowed fall. to guide her, was I? Because she's not. You <laughs> fall deeper into this illusion, yeah. into this deceit that I this damn. is my niece. Your niece. I give her a ladu. You look fine. <gasps> I am what love a love do. I really would. <laughs> <laughs> are you seeing this? <laughs> Why is this a big deal to you? It's not my. That's not my auntie. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's so fine. But I will say, Sitara just is continu- 
ब्यूटीफुल सिंगिंग वॉइस करना स्पेल And she says, "Leave my auntie alone!" <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> New auntie. <laughs> I told him I was getting used to it. I can take it. <laughs> And then, with a golden light in her eyes, she locks eyes with you, Iman, and says, "Nuren," and casts Word of Radiance. Make a con yes. save. Whoa! Yes. Whoa. That's my girl. Not one. Ooh, sick. I'm gonna give her double damage on this. This is absolutely incredible. Three. I'm gonna scream. Yeah. Five. <laughs> ten. Twelve points of radiant damage wow. as you see the ruins, like the letters for the word Nuren, form out of air and then sear your face. Make a concentration check. That's a 13. That's enough. You maintain concentration on your crown of thorns. You'll never escape. <laughs> Natasha <laughs> saying this still a little scared. She's still a kid. Backs up behind Murka <laughs> after saying no and seeing you're still awake. She's like, "I really thought that would work." <laughs> oh. You dare invoke the name of my patron against me. It's your And return. this my place of power. <sighs> It's her, it's you know what, Natasha? I'll deal with you later. <gasps> Uncle! <laughs> She hides behind you, Murka. When you say that, I look to Ash. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as wonderful that it is to have you as an auntie, I think you're living out your usefulness. So, I think that it's time that you know, go the path that most aunties go. the end of the world. No. And I am going to oh. raise a rapier. Whatever you think is best. No. Oh. <laughs> It's going to crackle no. with divine light and energy. Mm -hmm. As I attack with divine smite. This triggers your shatter, roll to hit, roll damage. Yes. I'm also going to throw as part of my College of Whispers, uh, psychic blades on it. Okay. As well. Psychic blades. Yeah. Do you make a con save for Shatter? Yeah. Uh, that's going to be 14. 14. 14. Uh, um, a con, do I have to roll a con save? You can roll, roll a con save for I think half. Uh, if you save, it's half damage. Yeah. I make it. Okay. So that's going to be half of 11. So five. Doesn't she uh, also get hit with my spirit, spirit guides? Because it's a 15 foot room. Oh, oh wait. Actually, sorry. Are you? Uh, you're in. Are you inorganic? No. I take it back. Not an organic. Mm. Um Le Duanti is inside your circle because she attacked Sithara, mm -hmm. but I do believe she's outside. She That's could right. attack mm. Le Duanti without entering the circle. Right. That is a 16 to hit. My AC is 14. Oh. Okay. All right. So that is 2d8. ब्लेट्स <laughs> And that is 24 damage. Okay. Oh. I'm at 10. Okay. 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 She's fine. Um, She's fine. She's fine. Can I? Can I story wise pipe in a little bit? Yes, of course. Nay and turn are harassed back. This auntie has had her share of just life whipping her in the face. Mm -hmm. She was not allowed to go to school. Mm -hmm. She tells people she could not bear children, but she just never had them. 
Mm. She never got married. She never had children. Her life has been a lot of failures for her. Mm. And this is just another one. Yeah. As you whip her into <laughs> 10 hit points mm. left of strength. Mm. As this happens, down. because you used your action to attack, the mm. crown shatters. Yeah. And you once again have your own mind. But I would like to use my bonus action to make another strike. <laughs> <laughs> This is incredible, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Story-wise, I'm, I'm loving this. Choose, choose, choose. Yeah, I think it says, like, it, it just says when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one use of bardic inspiration. Mm -hmm. well, that's once per turn. Yeah. I could so, smite on this if I wanted to. Yeah, normally strike, it takes but... a bonus action to use bardic inspiration, mm -hmm. but I think, like, this is just expending the use. It doesn't say you have to. So I think you do still have your bonus action. Uh, yes, yeah, but I can't put psychic blades on it. Um, I can do a divine smite, though. I just don't get my proficiency with it. That is a... Um, 16 to hit. Fuck. Okay, yeah, you hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my god, what's the damage on this? Um, that's 1d8 plus a uh, first level smite, uh -huh. which is um, 2d8 extra damage, so 3d8. Oh! What? Plus, okay. plus, no, 3d8, just 3d8. Good guest at our table! <laughs> 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 I can hit the blank thing. <laughs> Did you? I feel alive. Uh, nine damage. I have oh. one hit point. Oh, oh my come on, God. Okay, Auntie Auntie still... okay. You can never kill an auntie. <laughs> that oh. auntie's back. <laughs> this wow, is... you really are just stubborn, aren't you? Thank you. <laughs> this is one of those situations where you realize that charisma-based multi-classes are really strong. Yeah. All right, who's first? Okay. Ash. Can I turn undead? Would that, is she undead? She is technically undead. Let it, let it. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. What? Do you think that would be helpful? I mean, <laughs> you try to do this, otherwise just Maybe. freaking hit her with things. Uh, hit her with things. Yeah. <laughs> I dare you to try. I'm gonna channel some divinity right now. Yes. yes. I'm going Hanging to... 10 feet up in the air off a rope. Why That's not? Right. He's got another hat. He's got funny. another hat. Until no, dawn. Then he's like, the idea of this is funny to me of him like hanging up there like, well, Yeah, let me he's explain. Got, uh, he's only got a tail. Let me explain. My tail. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so my tail wraps around the, the rope and I get into Palativa. Uh, ah! My, my mudra that I want to Ooh. make. Ooh. And as Very my good. action, I present my holy symbol, which I guess would be uh, some kind of uh, cool. I guess it's this. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's obvious, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> and then I speak my prayer, censuring the undead. Uh, so all the undead need to, uh, who hear or see me mm -hmm. from 30 feet must, uh, They have to make a save. They have to wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Let me just check. Do I just, do I get advantage from those in general or just when I'm casting? Uh, I believe with Warcaster, it's just when you're casting. Yeah. yeah. You need to be a 16. I do not. You... Boy are filled with dread, and you are going to spend your turn trying to move as far away from Ash as you can. Cool. Uh, Excellent. So as my bonus action, mm -hmm. can I use Healing Word to uh, help, uh, sorry, help out Auntie here? Yes. <laughs> yes. There's, there's two aunties, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we okay. could be sisters. <laughs> Push it, okay. <laughs> sorry, 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 okay. And I bestow 12 <gasps> healing on you. Yes. <laughs> that, that is to make up for the damage I did earlier. Sorry, Auntie. What did you do? <laughs> Nothing, never mind. <laughs> Everything's cool. Are Everything's they, super did cool. you make a mess? I don't have time. <laughs> Sitara, roll your heat metal damage. Oh, yeah. 16. Oh. So because you already have concentration on that spell, you can cast a spell on this attack. Excellent. It just can't be a concentration spell if you want to make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, well, that's fine. And it has to be um, an action. Um, no one is with my auntie. <laughs> and I cast Scorching Ray at third level. 
Awesome. Oh. Roll to hit. Don't do disgusting words. <laughs> Please don't curse. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Three days of so I, do I roll three times for each ray of fire? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can roll them all at once. Uh, that's a 16 plus something. Uh, what hit. level are you casting at? Third level. Third level. Yeah. I think this is your last third level slot? Correct. Perfect. Okay. Um, oh, I think you said it's a hit? 16 a hits. 16 is a hit. Oh, it's plus seven. Right. Okay. So yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah, roll hit. all three hits together, and then um, we can roll damage together. Okay. Too. Well, I just rolled that first one, so we yeah. roll two more. Two more. Uh, which do not hit. Um, but that first one is going to be 3d6 fire damage. 2, 7, 5, 12 points of fire damage. That's bonus, that's uh, uh, action. Uh, he is going to hack up another hairball. It's just one, right? Yes. 14 plus 7 to hit 21. Mm -hmm. And. And he does five fire damage to you. I just want y'all to know that Iman looks singed, burned. There's eye core dripping from various slash wounds and burns in her body, mm. and she's starting to get even more shrunken in and skeletal. Mirka. I hold out like my the wrist of my jacket starts to like light up as I'm preparing a scorching ray but I'm not gonna fire it unless you move towards us or attack one of us. And with my other hand, I'm gonna hold up the book. I know what you did, and I know who you are. I don't care how much he speaks to you. You are still you. Everyone has a choice, and I don't care what position people are put in. The whole idea of life, the whole idea of animation is for things to make decisions on their own. That's what defines you. That's the entire point of creation. We're not here to judge it. We're not here to control it. You can't do that. And anyone who has tried has been buried in a shallow tomb. I'm sorry for what happened to you. Now, I've got some of his work. I promise you, we can come back. And I think I might be able to restore you to some physical form, or at least give you a housing for it. We exist in a world filled with magic and resources, and we can use it. If you let us go, I promise you, on my life, as an inventor, as a scientist, as an artificer, I will come back, and I will give you a body for you to be able to leave this place in. I'm gonna leave this to you. You can roll for it if you wish, Iman hears what you have to say, and there's a crack that appears inside her eye sockets that have turned fully black, and then another, and another, as the eye core starts to drain from her eyes and drips down her face. They start to turn into irises again and start turning into tears. I don't, I, I don't. <sighs> you should all go. Okay. Get out! Natasha, like, he, like, starts to push people up and says, come on guys, we have to hurry. We have to go quickly. Go, 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 go. Is she okay? We Get have her, to go, 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 auntie, go, auntie, go, 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 go. You all rush up the rope. As you get to the top, you discover. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> the whole time? Mm hmm. You discover. It's deeper than what it looks here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You are back in the more Bonnie Forest, the flooded depths around you. You hear strange calls coming from the bottom of the pit trap, and then. As you turn and look, your heart begins to sink. The woods seem to come alive around you. The very ground threatening to swallow you whole, to bring you back into the domain of dread. And then it stops. You ponder this for half a moment before you look behind you. 
and you see a moss-covered throne made of stone, made of granite. It looks older than the bones of the earth itself. And the statue nestled in it is of your friend, Namir. A new Lord of Rot, mm. trading their life to grant you safe passage through the forest. We'll see you next week on This Quest. All right, let's go. <laughs> this thing's sick. Your vision is beginning to double. So you probably okay. notice some sweat. Which one is she? Uh, <laughs> uh, just grab him and put his hand on her. Great, perfect. I must admit, when I first saw you, I thought, she has a giant stick. Stick up my ass, yes. That's mm -hmm. quite a but common phrase. My tears got caught in my lashes. Oh, uh, don't waste the pretty darling. Keep them up here. Keep them up here. <laughs> Go on. They are afraid of loud noises. OK, we'll have a conversation then. <laughs> After I finish devouring this pretzel, I will devour this small Benares man. No, 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 no. If you don't What's mind, he saying? I, 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 <laughs> It's not about me, and it's not about you anymore. This is bigger than all of us now. The show must go on. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as we loved making it. But it wasn't just our love that made it possible. This show would not be what it is without our friends at Karana Foods, The Spark of Ages podcast, Hero Forge, Lethal Shadows, Dogmite, Die Hard Dice, Dimension 20, and Dropout, Critical Role and Darrington Press's Candela Obscura, Misty Mountain Gaming, Black Magic Design, B. Raja Studios, Fonco Studios, all of our 2,608 Kickstarter backers, all of our Patreon backers, past and present, this amazing cast, and the absolutely tireless and talented crew. Hey, join me and Omar for the Daisy Quest After Show podcast, The Tea Kettle, where we'll spill the chai and go deep on each episode with special guests from behind and in front of the camera. Tea Kettle episodes are exclusive to our Patreon backers, so go hit up the Daisy Quest Patreon, support us being able to make more while getting this way cool deep dive on the show and the world. Episode four. Don't include this in the final. I picked a ridiculous accent to be doing. He's doing a German show. accent the whole time. That's so hard. Insane German Thank accents you. this whole time. Magic vlogging. Oh Genius. Really good. How dare you? <laughs> really good. Ended me. Ended me. Is there, is there a How name am I supposed for, to live up to that in character? Is there I a just, name for like the, the TikTok of the world or something? We'll, we'll have to figure it out. Tiki duck. Tiki duck. Uh, Amit Patel, it's been so long. Uh, we went to community school together. Douchebag Steve, I don't think so. Not anymore, at least. Oh, and what about E.G. Cobb? You and I go way back. Same with me and Eli Royal. Elizabeth Hammonds, oh. Out of all the Elizabeths, I saw your name go across the screen, so I'm picking you to thank. Hello, Julia Horn. How's it going? We, we didn't get a chance to talk last time. I didn't get to apologize to you uh, about borrowing that thing I never gave back. We talk about Sean Devlin. Thank you. Why are we not even talking yet about Jason Carl? I feel like we have to talk about Jason Carl.